League weapon could, uh, could result in injury. Okay, so I think the Italian team has now been counted for their numbers. Uh, no sign yet of the uh, Polish team. And you can see uh, the height of these pythons. Some wonderful uh, historical costumes there from the visitors, from the crowd. trying to protect themselves from the sun which is now beating down quite quite hard and we're, and we're still waiting for the Polish team who receive a very warm welcome from the crowd here the Polish team have a lot of supporters a lot of experience a very very proud nation with some stunning fighters we saw just yesterday in the one versus one category the incredible male fighters that they have who will be progressing into the uh, next round passing their group of course the uh, polish team in no need of uh, mercenary fighters uh, they've got the numbers oh, there's some great support there for the italian team Both teams there enjoying a bit of support, has to be said. So the marshals will just check the numbers. If you can see the uh, those labels on their weapons there, to say that they've, uh, they've been approved. And a nice variation of armor too. A lot of different uh, different styles of helms. The night marshal there, just uh, giving some clear instructions. He's double he's double checking that they do have. The right number of fighters. And we're getting ready to start the first round between Italy and Poland. So again, the Polish team uh, in Poland there have been some incredible H and B tournaments over the last year. Uh, a team who developed their own armor, so some stunning armory. Stunning armories in uh, Poland, and also uh, they're, they're spearheading the uh, the movement of H and B SOC, and also some uh, some training sessions and demonstrations here in Petrin Hill in Prague this weekend. Just this morning, they started with some of the young fighters, so First round, they really are ready. developing their fighters. But we are here now for the 21 Play. versus 21, and there is an early rush there from the Italians. The Poles a little bit cautious. Halbit is hacking away at the Poles there. Again, the first Italian has gone down now. And the Poles have the numerical advantage at this stage. However, some lines being held. Second line of Polish fighters yet to get involved. And now they break through certain gaps. I can only see at this point Italian fighters on the ground. And we do have, uh, in fact, a Pole who fell over his own fighter there. And there's going to be a clump of bodies around there. And it's going to be such a disappointment if people fall over their own players blows there against the uh, uh, Italian team but they're working on that Polish fighter there however I do think now that the Poles have the advantage and they're gonna strive for and push back the Italian team the Italians holding on there doing everything to down their fighters a the great ground there from the Polish fighter holding on to the list now still pushing forward some amazing work there from Early jump, hacking away the helmet, they both go down as a helmet is still on his feet from the Italian team. We'll be looking to even out the numbers. However, it is two against one. And this on this, headshots, leg shots, and in to take down this Italian fighter. Uh, he's doing incredibly well to stay up, but it can't last for long, and he's Stop down. Stop fight! Stop fight! And a very, very hard fought battle there. The uh, fighter's making sure they're staying on the ground to be counted some nice camaraderie there uh, between the italian team and uh, the poles of course they've met before in the zero, poland. and it is 10 to 0 so it's the closest fight we've had so far fighters please get ready for the second round say so prepare for round two and the uh, Italians doing a great job there of, uh, of holding them back. 
I think maybe the, the Polish team at the start was a little more cautious uh, than, uh, than we used to them. We used to seeing quite an aggressive team. Um, but the, uh, the aggression certainly at the beginning was, uh, was on, the, on the part of the Italians. However, the result goes to the Polish team. Again, we can hear some more support there from the Italian fans. Huge difference, that yeah. one. But of course, the Poles have a lot of support with them. And uh, numbers just being checked. There will be a substitution there from the, uh, from the Italians. Uh, it is another country who, uh, who work very, very hard on international tournaments, uh, inv inviting fighters from different nations to their their training sessions and their events. The Polish, of course, have uh, had some great results this year alone, as I said before. Moving forward with the HMB SOF and uh, the, the youth development programs, which is uh, also developed by uh, round. the Russians. Fighter is ready. And we go into the second round now. Fight! And it is a cautious start there from the Polish team, and also the Italians. The first blow is being dealt there. Halbeard's coming down uh, from both sides. In fact, not one fighter down yet, but there do seem to be a lot of flurries. And there may be a down fighter there on the left-hand side, but it's very, very close at this point. The Poles now trying to move forward, and you have the axe there. Rushing forward against the poles, and I still at this point can't see any down fighters. But and there seems to be a break there. I'm not exactly sure uh, what happened there. there maybe a maybe an injury. And I think the perhaps the the, the, the night marshal has stopped that uh, for an uh, an infringement of the rules. Maybe uh, maybe an injury there. And it appears to be. Uh, fighters who are on the ground, please stay on the ground. Other fighters, please go to your corners. Some uh, fighters who have been uh, grounded, being reminded there to, to stay on the ground. I guess some nice defence there from uh, from the Italians. However, much the uh, poles were coming through, and there seemed to be two. Italian fighters out. I'm still not exactly sure why the action was stopped. So I pre presume that there was a breakage in the armor. There's a loose uh, falchion there. Again, okay, you can see that one uh, marshal speaking to one of the grounded Italians there. And there. Oh, there's not an injury there. Uh, as we can see, however, the Poles Marcin Gnoski from Team Poland gets yellow card. Ah, uh, I'm not sure why there's been a yellow card given to a Polish fighter. I'm not sure what happened there. As you can see, it's very, very difficult. Mirko Magnetso from Team Italy gets yellow card. Ah, so both the both teams have received a yellow card. I'm curious to find out what happened there. Uh, I'm not sure if the two fighters. All uh, the fighters who are on the ground, please get out of the list. Okay, and the grounded fighters are being told to exit the list there. So uh, the Poles will restart with an advantage over the Italians. Maybe we'll be able to find out later what exactly happened with those uh, yellow cards. Because there's one for each team. And uh, we may have been in two different and places. And we will continue the second round. Okay. Fighters go back to their side of the list where the Night Marshal will Fighters call ready. for the restart fight. of the fight. And the Italians now holding back, charging forward are the Poles. They've got the confidence of the advantage and start working away at the Italians. The Halbeard is coming from behind, very, very cautious blows. Great defense there from the Italians, who are holding their shields high, knowing that the Poles will always go for those higher shots to the head. 
and there is a clinch there between a pole and a challenge. You can see the density of the fighting there. It's so hard to get these blows to connect. When it's like this two, three against one there. And that Italian's going to find it difficult. And he's taken down a massive takedown there from the poles. And here you have one of the biggest Italian fighters taking some real punishment now. He's been holding on to the list, but he's been taken down now, and the fight has been stopped. Big win there for the Poles, who found a bit of confidence in their stride. Well, the Italians, however, are very, very good at defending. And it seems to be uh, some words, there's an exchange of words there between one of the Italians and uh, one of the Poles. Look at this takedown, absolutely massive. And you can see that there's an axe which goes flying out of hand there. And here we go, a huge blow from the Falchon and then the Halbeard, absolutely massive. But looking at the size of that Italian, they're gonna need to come out with these huge blows. And it was at that point that the fight was called. One Italian just at the top of the screen there on his knees and he was taken down and that was the end of the 17 fight. 17-0 to, to Poland. 17-0 to Poland. And the first yellow cards of the entire tournament there. And, and the next on the list. A couple of warnings USA in the one versus, versus one. Belarus.